Hey everyone, welcome back. I hope you're having a great day. In this video, I'm going to be doing another CSS battle, but more specifically, I'm going to be doing this fork challenge or whatever it's called, called Forking Crazy. So we are trying to build out this fork and you know the deal. If, you, if you've watched any part of the series, you know what's going on here and what we need to do. So if you're interested in seeing me build out this little fork object with HTML and CSS, be sure to stick around. All right, so for this one, let's just again set the background color to that. I'll do that. And then what we want to do is we could try to build out the stem. Let's maybe start with the stem down here and see how hard that is. So I'm going to go ahead and make a class called stem. I think it's with an E, right? My English is bad, so I don't know. So I'm going to say stem with an E, and then we're going to try to make that the stem of the fork. And we could probably center that. So again, let's just do a display of flex here. And then we can do a justify content center, align item center. And we just want to push that down to the bottom of the screen. So what we could do is we could say bottom of zero pixels maybe and give it a position of absolute. All right, so we're at the bottom of the screen. And the height of this thing looks like it might be like 50 and the width might be... Does that look good? It looks like that lines up. We can fix it later. I think that's pretty good. So let's then move on to the... I don't know if this part is the fork. The base of the fork. Yo, so let's make this the base. I'll make another CSS and call it the base class. And so for this base class, we are going to do something similar, but instead of position bottom of zero, we should probably give it a position bottom of 50, not 500, 50. And the width of this thing, who knows, maybe it's like 200, that's too big. Let's try 150. That's still a little bit too big, 140. I wanna make sure that the left of this fork lines up with my base, so we could try 130. That looks too small, 135 maybe. Let's also give it some height so we know what we're kind of working with. We want the height to kind of line up to, I guess it could be here. It doesn't really matter where it is. Let me look closer, see if this lines up. So it needs to expand some. That might be good, 140. I think that's good. Does that look good to you all? I think it looks good to me. So let's try rounding the bottom of it and see if we can get that to look good. So I'm gonna say border bottom radius of 10 pixels. You know what? I don't remember what it is. I'm having a brain fart right now. So let me say border border bottom radius. Border bottom left radius. Oh, haha. <laughs> all right. So. Border, bottom, left, radius. There we go. Okay, you know what? It's actually like 12 a.m. right now. So if <laughs> I don't remember these things because it's late and also I'm old. So let's go ahead and do border and bottom right radius and see if we can get this to um, kind of match up with what we want. So instead of doing pick percentages, um, we might want to do pixel values. I guess we could stick with percentages and see if it works. So 60% is not matching up. Nope, by right, 80%. Nope. All right, none of those are matching up, so I think I need to move on to pixels. So I'm gonna try like 50 pixels and 50 pixels and see what happens. Not good. Let's try 60 pixels. Not good. Let's try 70. That actually looks good. I think there's a little bit of space between the stem and the base. So let me go ahead and raise the height of this by 60. Whoa, by 60. All right. So now that we got the base going, what we should probably try to figure out is how to get these little um, sharp edges of the fork, the prongs. I don't know what they're called, but we need to make four of them. So I'm going to go ahead and just make another div called prong. How do you spell it? Prong one. 
And that will be going from left to right. I will say style prong one. And that is just going to be a rectangle. So I could give it like a width of, let's make it match the stem. I think 20 pixels might be good and the height of 100 pixels. And we probably should give it all of this stuff. Let's just give it the same stuff. All right. So instead of bottom 50, let's give it like 150. And I think that's pretty good. Not really. Um, let's try 140. We can kind of play around with that. But now we need to move it more to the left. So I can say left of 10 pixels. Definitely not good. 50, 100, 1. That looks good. 130. Cool. So let's also try to round the top. So now that we've Googled how to do that, we can say border top left and border uh, top right. So let me do border top left, border top right. And it looks like it got rounded, but it's not high enough. So let's bring it up a little bit. So we'll say height of 110. And that actually looks like it's perfect. So we got lucky there. So let's go ahead and duplicate the duplicate this uh, three times. Uh oh, I forgot to copy the, the carrot. One, two, three, and I'll name it prong. One, two, three, four, and we could just style those. So let's just go ahead and copy and paste those, and do them one at a time. And really, it's just going to be about moving. I think the the left position to get it to where we want it to be. That looks good. Looking real good. I'm getting kind of hungry. Work on this forking crazy battle. All right, let's do left of 190. Uh-oh, we changed that. That's not enough. So the space in between these should probably be consistent. So if you look at the left of this, 170 to 210, that's about 40 pixels. So the next one, we can just assume we can add 40 to it, uh, and that should be 250. All right, so we're almost there, and now we basically need to do the exact same thing, but with another rectangle that's in between the prongs. So this is real fun. Let's go back here, and we'll add some inner prongs. So I'll say inner prong one, inner prong two, and inner prong three. All right, and let's try to style those as well. So let's copy prong four and change it to inner prong one. This challenge is kind of tedious. I'll give you, I'll give it that. So we are just going to move it over to the left a little bit. So let's look where we have it for one, 130 pixels. We'll set it to that. We'll give it a background color of this instead. And we actually just need to give it a border bottom left and right radius. And I don't know if 70 pixels is correct. It probably, probably will be. I don't see why I want it be. So let's move it over some. Boom. That was perfect. So let's just copy and paste inner prong one and do prong two and three. And let's just move it over maybe another 40 pixels. And let's move this over another 40 pixels to so 230. Boom, that's how you do it, ladies and gentlemen. We have a awesome fork that we can use to, I don't know, impress people with a cool cooking site, I guess. If you wanted to make this and put it on like a cooking site or like a recipe site, maybe that's when you might use this. But really, you probably will never use this. Let's submit it and see what we get. So we got 100% match, awesome. And let's see what the best players did. 164 characters. So we kind of suck, but that's okay. At least it still looks good, right? And no one needs to know how much code you wrote to get it to look good. All that matters is that it looks like the fork on the right. All right, so that wraps up the forking crazy battle, target number eight. If you have any suggestions of other battles I should try, be sure to leave a comment below. Give me a thumbs up if you like these CSS battle videos. And also remember to subscribe if you are new to this channel uh, because I'm going to keep on doing these in a series and you probably want to watch them if you're new to CSS and you just want to learn how to do some stuff. 
or if you're just bored and you want to watch me code these things, you could do that too. All right, have a good day and happy coding.